And then going along the bucket theme, which I never thought I would say that in a video. and welcome back. So it's been a minute since I did any kind of favorites video and I know that favorites usually occur in more of like a monthly format but there have been a couple of really standout items from my summer wardrobe that I wanted to make sure I shared with you all. If you're new around here I'm Austin. I am a fashion and beauty content creator and freelance writer based in New York City and I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. Hit that red button down below to get notified whenever I upload which is every Monday and Friday always posting new fashion and beauty content, also some career stuff lately, some vlogs mixed in. We have fun here on YouTube. I really tried to restrain myself here. I have five clothing items and five accessories to show you, so without further ado, let's talk through my summer fashion favorites. So I'll start off with clothing first, and although this is not a try-on, if there are any point photos I can insert to show you how things look, I will. And I wanted to kick things off with the perfect little white dress from Zara. So my friend Kayla actually interviewed me for an article on the Today Show about little white dresses and like the perfect summer dresses. So she talked to me about this one, and I am obsessed with it for many reasons. It has a faux wrap kind of silhouette, and then right here at the waist, it's almost like a paper bag effect. And what I love is it has these little bows on either side. The sleeves are also ruffled and they are pretty open, so there's a lot of breathing room for those hot, steamy New York City summer days, am I right? And the fabric is delightful, the silhouette is so cute, and it's $40. It was $39.90 when I got it from Zara. I picked it up in a size medium. I would have normally been a small, I think, but I always go a size up when I'm concerned about length. I'm 5'7", and whenever I see a mini dress like like this I just like know it's gonna blow up whenever I walk over a subway grate and I'd rather have a little bit of extra length to work with. The back closes with one button up here and this part is a tiny slit but you can totally still wear a bra with it without it really being visible. I personally wear a pair of nude bike shorts underneath this dress just for added security and comfort and all of that stuff. I think this is one of those dresses that you can wear with sneakers and your hair in like loose messy curls or if you slick back your hair in a ponytail and put some heels on, it could easily be perfect for a cocktail party or a casual night out. And I just love the versatility of it. So if you have been looking for a little white dress to wear until it starts getting cold again, um, definitely go hit up Zara for this one. By the way, can we talk about how I'm discussing fashion while wearing my Budweiser King of Beer shirt? I've literally been living in this though. This almost probably would have been a favorite had I not gotten it like two days ago. Next up on the favorites front is another dress, and this one is kind of surprising to me, not because I don't love the brand, but because this brand is known for their denim, and this is my first time trying out some of their ready-to-wear. So this is a polka dot dress from DL 1961. You guys have heard me talk about the Goldie High Rise before and the Hepburn Wide Leg jeans. I really do love them. They're a very sustainable brand. Definitely go check them out if you haven't heard of them yet but I was really impressed with this piece from their ready-to-wear collection. So it's definitely a polka dot pattern, but as you can see, it's a little bit, it looks like someone put a paintbrush on a canvas and slightly shifted it. So I like that it's more splotchy and less perfect polka dot, and it has a slight keyhole opening here. You can tie this really tight to make sure that you're like fully secured or you can have it a little bit looser if you want. I probably would not recommend this for my friends who are perhaps larger than a D cup. I'm not sure what it would look like or if you would have to size up to adjust for extra room in the chest area. Um, I have a size small in it. I'm like a B cup bra, so this works pretty well for me. The back also, you can see this area is ruched, so there is a lot of stretch and give here. The straps are also slightly adjustable, although there are only three places you can adjust it to, but you could make the straps a little tighter or looser depending on what you would need. This dress is about a mid-length and has these cute buttons on it as well, and this dress is also fully lined, so if you just wear your normal pair of nude undies, you should be good to go in this one. I wore this transitioning into the springtime with my leather jacket. I've worn it since like with nothing and just a pair of red mules and a black bag and I love how it looks and I love that it is an easy and presentable summer option for when I don't know what to wear. 
Now, it would not be summer 2019 if I did not talk about satin midi skirts. Um, as you probably have seen, they have been appearing everywhere, um, not just in street style, but also on the runways and even on the feeds of your favorite fashion bloggers. And speaking of that, I have a whole blog post on satin midi skirts. I have a shopping guide and also an IGTV video showing you how I style a satin midi skirt. So I will link both of those down below in case you'd like to further your satin midi skirt education. So this is the one that I wanted to show you. This is my newest edition to the satin midi skirt fam. This is my third one that I own now. And this is from ASOS. This was gifted to me um, from the ASOS team. And I got it in a size six, which I would say fits pretty well. I do have a tiny bit of extra wiggle room, but I would always prefer that over something being too tight. This skirt is not lined. So again, I would recommend the nude bike shorts. That should also be a summer favorite. I'm just gonna like slide that in here as a bonus one. Definitely get yourself a pair of those if you haven't already, literally life-changing. So to show you kind of the bottom of the skirt, there are these two little slits that only go a tiny bit up, maybe like a foot up on either side, which I actually like just because it gives more movement to the outfit and kind of helps break up the body of fabric because otherwise this is kind of a lot going on because it is such a loud print. I think I thought it was gonna be more white on the website, but it's actually kind of silvery and I don't mind that in person either. And then the flowers are kind of a very, very pale lavender. It has a zip and then a hook and eye on the side so you can make sure you are all secure and ready to go. And I've honestly just been loving styling this with like my Adidas superstars and a black t-shirt and heading out the door. Super easy, who knew, the satin midi skirt. I have another item from Zara that I wanted to talk about, and if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably so sick of seeing this, but I keep finding such fun and different ways to wear it, and it is this tank top. One of my followers actually messaged me and asked like for a link for it or was looking to buy it, and we do not get any reward style commission. Um, like Influencers don't get any reward style commission when you shop through Zara because they are a mega giant and they don't need us. They're already making a crap ton of money. But when I went to send it to her, it was on sale from $29.90 maybe was what I bought it for to like $7. <laughs> so I sent it to her and I was like, please buy this because it's $7. So if the link is still live, I will leave it down below as with everything else that I mentioned in this video. I need to stock up on more of, maybe not even in neon green, although I've been loving this color lately, just more of these knitted, cropped, easy to wear tops. My favorite part about this, of course, is the slight ruffled bottom part. For high-waisted anything in your wardrobe, this will be your best friend. I am already have worn it with high-waisted linen shorts, I've worn it with trousers, I've worn it with the next skirt that I'm going to show you, and I love all of the different ways to play around with it, and I think it's so awesome, so this is definitely on my list. And the last item of clothing that I want to show you was actually an Amazon Prime Day find, and I have a couple of accessories from Amazon Prime too that I will be talking about, but I saw this skirt. Um, I covered Prime Day for Teen Vogue this year, and I saw this skirt as I was doing my brows through clothing and was like, <gasps> No way. So I originally saw it on the Amazon website in yellow, and I was like, if that comes in black and white, this is a done deal. Was clicking around, found it in the black and white, and it is a dream. I got it in a size medium, and I think I could have gone either way. The small probably would have fit fine too, because this is the elastic, and it definitely like fits fine right now, but if I had gotten the small, I'm sure it would have also been a good fit. The skirt has pockets you heard me it has pockets and it hits like right above my ankle so it's a very ladylike kind of tea like silhouette but i would also love to see someone style a skirt like this with like a vintage band t-shirt and some converse i feel like that could be a really fun take on it too um it was 22 dollars or something on amazon the exact prices and everything will be down below but yeah, I could not recommend this more. I absolutely love this. Don't even know what brand makes it, but shout out to whoever they are because they did a great job. Moving on to accessories, I'm gonna start with the most unexpected one. You saw it in the thumbnail already, but it's this <laughs> tie-dye bucket hat. If I looked into a crystal ball and saw myself wearing this in 2019, I would have just like rerouted my entire life to ensure that I wasn't wearing it. Yet here I am. I have never been that into bucket hats. It's very like, I just immediately think of fishermen. I'm sure some of you do too, and some of you probably already jumped on this trend like two months ago, because I'm always late to trends, but that's okay. 
Sometimes I need time to adjust them and figure out how it's gonna work for me. And when I saw this tie-dye one, also while I was doing Amazon Prime Day stuff, this is an Amazon Prime find, um, I was messaging with Bianca, who was my editor at Teen Vogue while I was covering it for them. And I was like, do I need this tie-dye bucket hat? And she was like, you might. And I was like, okay. So it comes in a few different colorways. I kind of went for the warm tones. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of reds and yellows, oranges, lots of the warm tone colors. So I kind of just went for it, and I have to say, I don't have any regrets about it. Um, one of my favorite bloggers, I keep saying Emma Legger, but I'm also just gonna say Emma Rose, cause that's her YouTube channel. She's been wearing a ton of tie-dye lately, also bucket hats, like, I feel like I've been extremely influenced by her in the recent months, and I'm also not mad about that either. So that was definitely kind of something that swayed me over the edge to purchasing it, but I really do like it. I wore it in Cha Cha Matcha yesterday, and I could just tell that there were people in there who were like, who is this girl with the tie-dye bucket hat and get her out of here <laughs> and then going along the bucket theme which I never thought I would say that in a video um, I have been also loving this bucket bag from Rebecca Minkoff this is one of the mini bucket bags so as you can see it doesn't hold a ton it does safely hold my phone keys card holder sometimes my vlogging camera and a battery charger for my phone because I'm still living that success life. The phone dies a lot. But yeah, I have just been obsessed with this bag. I love the little tassel on it. I love the strap and the signature Rebecca Minkoff hardware. I think it's so cute. I love the mock croc. And for $98, which I looked on the website, it's on sale right now for $98. This is a really solid summer investment. I think. So a lot of editors who I follow on social media, like my friend Lauren Egertson, who's an editor at Who What Wear, have been bringing back like the shell jewelry trend lately and I have been really into it. So I also saw this on Amazon Prime. There's a lot of Amazon Prime finds in here. Um, while I was covering Prime Day and they have a version with just one shell and then it's a pull to close kind of bracelet. And then they have this one which has seven shells and as you can see, one of them is like a gold color. And I just thought this was so cute. I haven't been a bracelet girl for a while because as a freelancer, I'm at my computer all day and whenever there's stuff in the way of writing or emails or whatever, I don't have a lot of patience for it, but I'm trying to ease my way back into it because I do love bracelets, I do love jewelry, and I'm trying to remember to incorporate them more into my wardrobe. So yeah, shell bracelet, have not been mad about it. It looks great with a tan. Would definitely recommend. Okay, and my final two items are both hair accessories. The first is one I discovered while I was doing my festival hairstyles video. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link an eye bar up on the screen so you can go check it out. I had been reading about the benefits of silk scrunchies for a while. And as you know, silk pillowcases are also great, not just for your skin, but for your hair. So silk is good for your hair because as I mentioned, it does help preventing breakage, so damage, and it also kind of, helps the natural oils of your hair just like stay where they are. This sounds so weird, but this doesn't absorb those oils as easily as like cotton scrunchie would. So anyway, I got this pack um, from Slip Silk, which is sold on Sephora. I have to say, I truly, truly love these. Um, they are kind of big, so right now I have been folding them three times around my hair for it to be fully tight. But I also have been enjoying like wearing them on my wrist as though they're a bracelet too, which is not exactly what you're supposed to do. And in fact is like a pet peeve of mine for, you know when you take a perfect Instagram photo and you realize your hair tie is still on your wrist. But I've kind of been seeing them as more of a like I kind of don't mind it on my wrist right now. I don't know who I'm becoming or what's going on. I don't know. And the last thing I wanna show you guys, which looking back on this video should have been the first thing I showed you guys, cause you would probably all go buy it the second I showed you it, cause it's the best deal on the hottest hair accessory of the summer. But if you guys are in to barrettes, you can get all, what is it, 14 of these, 12 of these for $9.99 on Amazon. Like, are you joking? Look at how cute these are. I love the texture of each one of the shapes. So I like that we've got like some tortoise kind of happening here. I love whatever this rainbow one is. I like more of the black and gray and pink marble effects. Like I am just freaking obsessed with these. Like literally you could just throw them on to any outfit and you look so cute and they look so much more expensive than 
a dollar each. I'm all for trying out trends on the cheap. And as you guys can probably tell on my channel, I really haven't been shopping a lot this year. I think there have maybe been like two come shopping with me videos where I didn't buy anything. And then like two haul videos since January. And the reason is because I'm really trying to invest money back in my business right now. And that is a priority as much as I wish like buying clothes and accessories could be a priority. But since I am a fashion blogger, I do occasionally get gifted certain items and given opportunities to test things out. So when I do spend my money on something, I want it to be worth it. And I mean, for $10, like this was 100% worth it to me. Thank you guys so much for sitting through another round of favorites from me. I hope you guys thought these were cute and affordable and fun and gives you inspiration for if you're looking for any final pieces for the summer months. It's gonna be fall though before we know it guys. So let me know if there's any fall fashion content you wanna see below. Um, I'd be happy to do some kind of capsule wardrobe video or what you should be shopping for or fall trends or whatever you wanna know. Leave your requests down below in the comments as well as what was your favorite item from this video? Was it the tie-dye bucket hat? Because that might be mine, and that's not even a joke. I don't know what happened to me. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below. New videos every Monday and Friday. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!